So it goes on, Ikhwan, to mention a number of other points, all of them indicating and ind indicative of the fact that Tawheed, Ikhwan, is the Miftah and is the key to Jannah. And that it is by way of establishing that Tawheed related to the name, whether related to the, na the names and the attributes of Allah, whether related to the Rububiyah of Allah Azza wa Jal, whether related, Ikhwan, to that which is uh, yani, from his Ubudiyah and uh, from his Uluhiyah and establishment of his Ibadah, regardless of that, Ikhwan, it is a must that we establish the Tawheed of Allah Azza wa Jal, for indeed that, and by way of that, one will return to Jannah. But Ikhwan, from the ni'am of Tawheed, from the blessings of Tawheed, is that the one who establishes Tawheed upon the earth, he will recognize Ikhwan and understand that there are, number, there are a number of other benefits. And it was that that the prophets and the messengers likewise called to. It was not just the affair of individuals entering Jannah, but there are a number of other benefits that were mentioned. And when we analyze, for example, the da'wah of Nuh alayhi salatu wasalam, Nuh alayhi salatu wasalam, Ikhwan, he called his people, as I'm sure you're aware, for 950 years. And part of his call uh, is present, Ikhwan, in the Quran, in Surah Nuh. That Allah Azza wa Jal informs us of that. When he called upon his people for 950 years, and then he called upon Allah Azza wa Jal, saying, Rabbi, inni da'awtu qawmi laylan wa nahara, wa lam yazidhum du'ai illa firara, wa inni kullama da'awtuhum litaghfira lahum, ja'alu asabi'ahum fi adhanihim, wa staghshaw thiyabahum, wa asarru wa stakbar stikbara. Thumma inni da'awtuhum jihara, thumma inni a'lantu lahum wa asraratu lahum israra. فَقُلْتُ اسْتَغْفِرُوا رَبَّكُمْ إِنَّهُ كَانَ غَفَّارًا يُرْسِلُ السَّمَاءَ عَلَيْكُمْ مِدْرَارًا وَيُمْدِدُكُمْ بِأَمْوَالٍ وَبَنِينَ وَيَجْعَلْ لَكُمْ جَنَّاتٍ وَيَجْعَلْ لَكُمْ أَنْهَارًا That he mentioned that indeed, O oh my Lord, indeed I called upon my people night and day. And my call did not increase them except in fleeing away from me. And every time I called upon them that you may forgive them, they put their fingers in their ears, they pulled their garments over their heads, and they continued in arrogant pride. And then I called them in public, I called them in private. فَقُلْتُ اسْتَغْفِرُوا رَبَّكُمْ Listen to the da'wah of Nuh, and then listen, ikhwan, to the utilization of Tawheed in his da'wah. Listen to the da'wah of Nuh. فَقُلْتُ اسْتَغْفِرُوا رَبَّكُمْ I said, seek forgiveness of your Lord. Shuf, he called them to Tawheed. فَقُلْتُ اسْتَغْفِرُوا رَبَّكُمْ Seek the forgiveness of your Lord. Tawheed al-ibadah, Tawheed al-uluhiyya. Innahu kana ghaffara. Shuf. Indeed he is ghaffara. Which is Tawheed? Asma'u sifat. Yursil sama'a alaykum midrara. He will send the right, the sky down upon you in rain. Tawheed? Ar-rububiyya. Wa yumdidukum bi amwalin wa baneen. He will give you wealth and he will give you children. Tawheed? Ar-rububiyya. Wa yaj'al lakum jannatin. وَيَجْعَلْ لَكُمْ أَنْهَارًا He will make for you jannat, rivers, uh, and uh, one gardens, and he will make for you rivers. Tawheed, huh? Rububiyya. مَا لَكُمْ لَا تَرْجُونَ لِلَّهِ وَقَارًا What is wrong with you that you do not wish that Allah Azza wa Jal be exalted? Huh? Tawheed? Huh? <laughs> huh? لا. لا. كيف؟ أبير بوف أبير بوف يا أخي زك الله خير <تصفيق> نعم ما لكم لا ترجون لله وقارا what is wrong with you that you do not wish to see that Allah be exalted توحيد ها ها ألوهية كيف how is Allah عز وجل exalted إخوان except with the ذكر of Allah عز وجل with Salah with, with يعني, establishing the ibadah of Allah in the earth, establishing masajid in the earth, and so on. What is wrong with you that you do not wish يعني, that Allah Azza wa Jal be worshipped? And so, ikhwan, there is a point that is to be taken from that, and that is, it is not from the da'wah of the anbiya wa rusul. It is not from the da'wah and the call of the prophets and the messengers to call to Tawheed al rububiyyah alone. And that is one of the reasons, ikhwan, that some of the jama'at and some of the groups have been criticized by our scholars for calling to Tawheed al-Rububiyyah alone. 
And that is, ikhwan, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent the messengers to use rububiyyah to call to uluhiyyah. And that is the case, ikhwan, with the da'wah of Nuh and others. That he mentioned, Allah sends you this, Allah gives you that, Allah will bless you with this, rububiyyah. And so if that is the case, why not worship Allah azza wa jal? Why are you turning your worship to other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? And so, ikhwan, from those jama'ah, the likes of jama'at al-tabliq, yani those jama'at have been criticized by ahlul ilm because of the fact that their call, ikhwan, oftentimes revolves around tawheed al-rububiyyah. Why? Because there is not a Muslim except that he will not have an issue with tawheed al-rububiyyah. And so when their goal is to do nothing but to gather the people together, that call to uluhiyyah, to rububiyyah, we find them focusing upon that. And so you hear, brothers, you know, there's a short talk on Iman and Yaqeen uh, after Salah. And then we have the mention, Ikhwan, of the fact that Allah Azza wa Jal created the heavens and the earth. And you know, brothers, it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that gives us children and that gives us life and will take our life. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one that has blessed us with everything that we have. And if you were to take uh, all of the uh, uh, yeah, any trees and turn them into pens and turn uh, the rivers uh, into uh, yani, or the seas, this is an ayah, turn the seas into ink, yani, you could not write about the greatness of Allah. And ayah, ikhwan, nonetheless, uh, it is still a call to rububiyyah. And when the mushrikun of Quraysh established rububiyyah and believed in rububiyyah, that was not ikhwan the cause and not the reason that Allah Azza wa sent the prophets and the messengers. The mushrikun of Quraysh, Allah Azza wa Jal establishes that if you were to ask them, man khalaq as samawati wal ard, if you were to ask them, who created the heavens and the earth? Yani the mushrikun of Quraysh. Those who worship the idols, if you were to ask them who created the heavens and the earth, they would say Allah. So they established that their creator, which is Tawheed, huh? Rububiyyah, that their creator is Allah. They established that. So Allah Azza wa did not send them to establish Rububiyyah, rather to call them Ikhwan to the worship of Allah Azza wa Jal alone. And so we see Ikhwan in the call of the Prophets and the Messengers, the fact that the Prophets and the Messengers utilize that Tawheed to call the people to that which was better for them in the dunya and in the hereafter. And as we mentioned, Ikhwan, there are a number of other benefits, Ikhwan, that are uh, yani mentioned related to those who established that Tawheed. Not only entering Jannah, but from the benefits, Ikhwan, uh, of uh, the establishment of Tawheed, is that we find, Ikhwan, with the establishment of Tawheed, that those who establish it in a manner that pleases Allah Azza wa Jal, then Allah not only enters them into Jannah, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes them from their awliya, from his awliya, from his allies. And Allah describes who his allies are in the dunya. That Allah mentions that indeed the awliya of Allah. La khawfun alayhim. There is no fear upon them, neither will they grieve. Who are they? Alladheena amanu wa kanu yattaqoon. Those who have iman and they have taqwa. They have fear of Allah Azza wa Jal. And the fear of Allah revolves around what, ikhwan? Carrying out the prohibitions of Allah Azza wa Jal. And staying out when carrying out the commands. And staying away from the prohibitions. And nobody take that from me. Carrying out the commands. Uh, and staying away from the prohibitions. That is taqwa. So those who have iman, belief in Allah Azza wa Jal. And that which is related to his tawheed. Carry out the awamir. Carry out the commands and stay away from the prohibitions. They are the people of taqwa. They are the awliya of Allah Azza wa Jal. What has Allah given to them? Uh, they have bushra, glad tidings in the dunya and in the hereafter. Likewise, Ikhwan, from the establishment or from the benefits of the establishment of Tawheed, is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses those who believe uh, yani in that Tawheed and establish it correctly, blesses them with everything that we find all of the groups and parties calling to and calling the Muslims to return to or to establish Ya'ni in the dunya. Security, peace, the establishment ikhwan of aman, the establishment of the, uh, the removal of fear from them, the removal of humiliation from them, the removal of those uh, calamities and hardships that they face, 